will first uh, start by introducing Professor Aono. Uh, Professor Maza Kazu Aono is uh, one of uh, the, the first uh, uh, scientists in the world who had a program financed by government uh, systems uh, in nanotechnology. It was in, uh, back in 1889 and it was called Atomic Draft. Uh, it was moving atoms, it was moving atoms on surfaces uh, at that time. And uh, since this time, he has been ahead of uh, the international, uh, for, uh, uh, ahead of the nanotechnology program in Japan for a few years back in the 2000s. And now he's ahead of the International Center for Material and Nano uh, Architectonics. Uh, in, uh, uh, in Japan, and he will talk to us about nanoelectronics to open new horizons in material science and technology, and especially, I believe, in nanoelectronics. So, Professor Haldo, please proceed. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Agroa. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the organizers for inviting me to this uh, nice uh, conference held in a uh, nice city, Paris, in a uh, nice season, May. In Japan, uh, we say wind uh, is uh, fragrant uh, in May. Okay, uh, the title of my talk uh, today is uh, Nano -electro Electro Ionics to open new horizons of material science and technology. I'm from uh, International Center for Materials Nanoarchitectonics. Pronunciation is a little bit difficult. Nanoarchitectonics, MANA, uh, placed in a National Institute for Material Science, NIMUS, Tsukuba, Japan. So uh, by using th the first five minutes, I'd like to explain what is uh, International Center for Materials Nanotechnics. Uh, this center, MANA, uh, is uh, one of the uh, research centers organized by the World Premier International Research Center Initiative, uh, so-called uh, WPI program of MEX Japan. MEX is Ministry, Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. And wh what is the WPI program uh, organized by uh, MEXT? In uh, 2007, MEXT uh, launched uh, the World Premier International Research Center Initiative, WPI program, and selected, organized the five WPI centers from among a lot of uh, proposals. Uh, these uh, five centers were uh, created uh, in the first year, uh, in uh, 2007. Uh, in uh, Tohoku University, University of Tokyo, uh, Kyoto University, and Osaka University, and in our National Institute for Material Science, NIMS. And after three years, a uh, new WPI center was created at uh, Kyushu University. And uh, last year, uh, three more centers were, uh, WPI centers were uh, organized at the Tsukuba University, Tokyo Institute of Technology, Nagoya University. So. Uh, right now, uh, we have nine WPI centers uh, in Japan. And uh, uh, our center, uh, MANA, uh, National In uh, International Center for Materials Re uh, Architectonics, is uh, the only non-university uh, WPI center. Okay, uh, so uh, after the inauguration uh, in uh, 2007, we have a history of uh, uh, six years and a half. Uh, every year we open the uh, MANA International Symposium. And uh, uh, this year uh, we opened the seventh International Symposium uh, 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 two months ago. And uh, for your information, uh, this year uh, is uh, uh, the 50th anniversary of the Tsukuba Science City, the biggest science city in Japan. So uh, we uh, celebrate uh, the uh, six year anniversary by inviting two Nobel laureates, uh, Leo Esaki, Professor Leo Esaki, and Professor uh, Makoto Kobayashi. In uh, Tsukuba Science City, we have three 
uh, three Nobel laureates are living, but uh, we uh, invited two of them. Okay, uh, by the way, what is uh, nano architectonics uh, used in our uh, center name? That is nano architectonics. Okay, if we look at the history of uh, uh, microtechnology and nanotechnology, uh, in the past two decades, uh, we looked for, we studied uh, various nanostructures with novel uh, properties. But in the next two decades, uh, we have to organize uh, these uh, nanostructures to obtain nanosystem functionality. You may think that uh, this is the same course we experienced in the past, namely uh, from the uh, fast transistor uh, to modern in integrated circuits. But the answer is no. Between uh, micro, micro technology and uh, nanotechnology, there's a crucial difference, which is unrecognized uh, generally. If we look at uh, macro technology, not the micro technology, this is macro, macro technology, we can make a construction exactly identical to design drawing. And uh, also in uh, micro technology, we can make a, a fabrication exactly identical to design drawing. If, if we make uh, uh, a mistake in the, in the fabrication, that will cause the uh, error in uh, computation in case of integrated circuits. So there is no difference between macro technology and micro technology, basically. But uh, uh, in nanotechnology, it is basically impossible to make a uh, uh, nano fabrication exactly identical to a design drawing because of uh, static curve and the thermal uh, spatial temporal fluctuations. So uh, there is a crucial difference between uh, nanotechnology and microtechnology. If uh, come down to the usual material science, atomic molecular material science, uh, design and uh, uh, structure fabrication, are uh, made by the God. So there is uh, the difference between uh, this nanotechnology and the usual material science. In this way, uh, in, uh, uh, at the nanometer scale, it is generally hard to fabricate structures exactly identical to a design drawing due to thermal and uh, statistical spatial temporal fluctuations closely related to the a discreteness of atoms and molecules. Also, nanometer scale structures uh, like this are more or less a complex system so that they are not necessarily able to be understood with conventional atomic molecular scale material science. Nanoarchitectonics aims at opening a new paradigm of uh, nanotechnology by recognizing these facts adequately. Okay, uh, we think uh, the four uh, view points is uh, important uh, in, uh, in nanoarchitectonics. So uh, we have to create reliable nanomaterials or nanosystems to form uh, uh, the from uh, unreliable nanoscale structures, nanoparts, that are assembled or organized unreliably. And uh, we should note that main Players are not uh, individual nanoparts, but they are mutual interactions that cause an emergent functionality as a whole. And uh, we shouldn't overlook an emerging functionality caused by the assembling of a large number of nanoparts. Finally, it is uh, we should create a new theory field where conventional first principle computations are combined with novel bold approximation. Okay, on the basis of this uh, uh, material of nanoarchitectonics uh, at uh, uh, MANA, uh, we are doing uh, research in four different uh, research fields, nanomaterials, nanosystems, nanopower, and nanolife. Okay, so uh, I'd like to uh, talk about nanoelectronics to open uh, new horizons of material science and technology. Uh, when we have a, a material 
such as uh, metal, semiconductor, insulator. Uh, they could be uh, inorganic materials or organic materials. <coughs> if uh, this material is sandwiched by uh, two electrodes and a prior voltage, uh, for uh, in all the cases, uh, the interface elect electric, ch electric charges are induced, uh, like, uh, like this in all cases. And of course, uh, Electronic current flows uh, in the case of metals and, uh, and the same conductors, but uh, no uh, uh, electronic current flows in the case of insulator. And uh, generally, structural change occurs uh, in, in, case, in this uh, insulator case, and uh, uh, structural change occurs sometimes in case of semiconductor, and uh, basically uh, no uh, structural change occurs in, in, in case of metal. And in all cases, uh, it is important to think about uh, the uh, exchange of ions. So uh, elect uh, electrode ions may diffuse out, or uh, uh, the exchange occurs, uh, the ion exchange occurs at the interface. Of course, uh, uh, we have another category uh, of materials, uh, ionic conductor. Uh, this is uh, similar to insulator, but in this case, of course, ionic current flows. The, this and the, the, all of these, all of these uh, is electrochemistry, and uh, if that uh, happens uh, at a nanometer scale, that is uh, nano electrochemistry. And if the ions play uh, a main, pre, uh, main role, that is nano electroionics. And uh, uh, a variety of uh, nano electroionics uh, processes opens uh, new horizons of material science and technology. For example, a uh, novel nano-electronic device uh, different from conventional nano-electronic nano device uh, can be developed. And a novel method to control materials uh, properties, materials properties locally can be developed. Okay, uh, let me start uh, with uh, this uh, first uh, one. Uh, the first example is atomic switch. Okay, the start was serendipity. And uh, many years ago, uh, I'd like to make uh, th uh, th uh, this one. Uh, let's make a, a nano fountain pen using a solid electrolyte, uh, using, uh, using a silver sulfide. As you know, uh, in uh, silver sulfide is a famous ionic conductor. And in this material, uh, silver ions are moving around like a liquid in the uh, rigid framework of uh, silver uh, ions. So uh, I intended to deposit silver ions one by one to the uh, uh, substrate by using uh, this material as an STM tip and by applying a, a, a negative voltage to this uh, substrate. And uh, uh, I asked to do that to uh, this uh, postdoc. Uh, he, he, he was a postdoc, Terabson. And uh, several months later, uh, he said, we've got it. And uh, th this is a uh, uh, silver uh, wire line uh, produced in the silicon surface with uh, uh, steps, silicon 111 surface. But uh, 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 one day, uh, Terabasan came to my office and uh, he said, by the way, something strange happens. Uh, STM tips uh, uh, retract more than 100 nanometer and if, we, if I change the uh, polarity of applied uh, voltage, that comes down again. So I thought oh, some uh, silver protrusion occurred Long, very long silver protrusion occurs at the uh, tip, tip, at this tip. So I said, oh, that's great. Uh, we can use it as a novel electronic uh, switch. And uh, I said, we should collaborate with uh, our uh, colleague, uh, Tsuyoshi Hasegawa from Hitachi Central Laboratory to make uh, a device. And uh, the Hasegawa said, leave it to me. I was in Hitachi Central Laboratory. And uh, uh, really, he did very nice work uh, 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 later. Uh, I'll explain about this uh, later. 
So uh, uh, in the uh, case of STEM, uh, atomic switch works like this. Uh, we cut off the feedback loop, so the uh, this uh, the height of the tip is always constant. And uh, if we apply a, a, a negative voltage to this electrode, the silver protrusion occurs like this. And finally, this gap is switched on. And if the, uh, the uh, uh, polarity of the applied voltage is reversed, uh, this, these uh, silver atoms dissolve into these materials again. And uh, this gap is switched off. And uh, that uh, we observed uh, that uh, hysteresis. Uh, we changed uh, the voltage from uh, uh, positive value to uh, negative value. And uh, in this, the starting from uh, this one, uh, nothing happens in this region. But suddenly switching on occurs like this. And uh, uh, even if we sweep the voltage, nothing happens in this region. But suddenly switching on, uh, off occurs. It's a beautiful. A switching hysteresis was observed. And uh, we observed uh, uh, this uh, uh, switching behavior at 100 kilohertz switching, uh, not, not uh, high speed at that time. And uh, uh, interestingly, uh, this uh, switch, atomic switch is basically non-volatile switch, like this. Uh, however, if we Replace uh, this uh, silver metal with uh, carbon, for example. This uh, switch becomes a uh, volatile switch because the, if the protrusion of silver atoms occurs, the concentration of silver uh, ions in this region is uh, becomes low, so the crystal energy is very high. So if the voltage is removed, suddenly these uh, atoms are dissolved into uh, this material very quickly, very quickly. So uh, we can make a, a volatile switch. And uh, interestingly, at the relatively high voltages, uh, the uh, high speed on-off switching occurs, as I uh, explained. But uh, at the intermediate uh, voltages, uh, this conductance uh, changes with time or integrated amounts of uh, charge, uh, charge passed. If you want to call this memorista, you can call this memorista. And uh, at uh, relatively low uh, voltages, the conductance is uh, quantized, uh, with, and uh, the quantized value can be changed with time, so that we can control the conductance at any designated value. So in this case, uh, the starting from a six unit, uh, the unit is two uh, e squared over h from six. Somehow this is 5.5, or in half integer, but 4, uh, 3, 1. And this is a non-contact uh, uh, tunneling condition. And if we change the, uh, the polarity of the applied voltage to uh, minus 29 millivolt, uh, 1, 2, 3, and uh, 6. So we can control uh, at uh, the quantized conductance at any value. And interestingly, we can make a jumping between two different uh, quantized conductance. Uh, in this case, between uh, n equal one state and n equal two state. And by applying ne negative and positive negative voltage, uh, voltage pulse, uh, we can control uh, this state to this state, this state, this state, like this. And uh, <coughs> starting, uh, uh, so, uh, Apart from uh, this at, uh, STM configuration, uh, we try to make a, a crossbar uh, atomic switch. In this case, we can make many uh, uh, atomic switches. And you may wonder how we can make uh, this uh, uh, vacuum gap, but that is not di so difficult. Okay, by applying uh, the voltage between this electrode and this electrode, and simply uh, 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 changes the position of like this, and when the uh, distance becomes uh, uh, one nanometer or something like that, suddenly this protrusion occurs. And then uh, everything is uh, fixed by uh, epoxy groove, and after that, uh, if we apply negative voltage to this electrode, uh, this, the vacuum gap is formed. 
And uh, after that, we can make uh, on-off switching. This is our first uh, one by four or crossbar type atomic switch, uh, handmade uh, switch. And uh, uh, we observed one megahertz uh, switching for every, for every uh, 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 switches. And uh, later, uh, uh, we uh, developed a, a microfabrication uh, method of atomic switch. In this case, uh, the, we placed uh, the silver wire and the surface is uh, sulfurized a little bit. And then a small amount of silver is placed. And after that, this uh, platinum uh, electrode is placed. And uh, uh, if we apply a negative voltage to this electrode, these uh, silver uh, atoms are dissolved into this material. So uh, the switching off occurs. And after that, we can make a switching on and off. OK. Uh, by using uh, this uh, atom, uh, the, uh, <coughs> Uh, crossbar switches, uh, only by using two switches, uh, we have succeeded to make a uh, uh, 16 uh, uh, state, uh, multi-state memory. So uh, in this case, this, uh, the conductance of this switch was changed from uh, 0, uh, 1, and 2, 3, and uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. Uh, and uh, uh, this switch was changed uh, from uh, also, uh, at each value of, uh, uh, no, no, I, I, this was changed, uh, one, two, three, and at each value of this uh, switch, the, sw uh, the conductance of this switch was changed from like, like this. And the total uh, current is uh, shown by uh, red, red uh, curves. So uh, we can make uh, uh, 16. A state, uh, multi-state memory, only by using uh, two uh, atom switches, and also uh, by using uh, the two switches and the two switches and one switch and the, the capacitor, uh, we, we succeed to make an AND gate or a gate or not a gate. So we can make any uh, gate, uh, logic gate, by using atom switch. Okay, so far I discussed about uh, the so-called gap type, uh, gap type atomic switch. We have a, a vacuum gap here. Uh, we can use uh, not only silver sulfide, but also uh, copper sulfide. The, uh, the properties are very similar. And uh, uh, in this case, as I said, uh, by applying a, a positive voltage to this electrode, uh, this protrusion occurs. And uh, finally, this uh, uh, gap is switched on. But uh, we can make a uh, gapless type atomic uh, switch. And uh, uh, they was uh, uh, developed by NEC Corporation, my colleague in uh, NEC Corporation, and they named this one a nano bridge. And in this case, uh, we have no uh, vacuum gap. So I in this case, th this material should be very high in uh, uh, electrical resistance, OK? And even in this case, if we apply positive voltage to this electrode, the silver protrusion won't uh, occur. But uh, the top is suppressed by this uh, electrode, so the protrusion occurs uh, downwards. And finally, uh, the, uh, this uh, gap is uh, uh, switched on. And uh, uh, the, uh, this was uh, done by NEC Corporation. And uh, uh, they uh, showed uh, uh, beautiful uh, switching uh, hysteresis by using this uh, gapless type uh, atomic uh, switch. In uh, 2007, uh, 2005, uh, we made these four uh, structures. One is a uh, one by two uh, crossbar switch array, 12 by 12 uh, crossbar switch array, and one kilobit uh, non-volatile random access memory with a controller. Here, uh, in this area, uh, we have uh, thousand uh, uh, atomic switches. And also, 4x4 four four crossbar switch array with uh, transistor at each uh, switches. And all of these were done uh, in 2005. So atomic switch can be microfabricated easily. And uh, uh, gapless type atomic switch can be divided into two cases. One is solid electrolyte type, uh, that, uh, which I explained already. 
uh, we have uh, silver sulfide or copper sulfide, ele solid electrolyte. Uh, and, uh, but uh, uh, we can use uh, usual uh, oxide, uh, normal uh, uh, usual oxide, such as tantalum oxide and ni niobium oxide. Of course, uh, these oxides are not uh, solid electrolyte, but uh, this material works as an ion transport layer. So if we apply a uh, positive voltage to this uh, silver or copper uh, electrode, uh, silver or copper uh, ions are dissolved, diffuses into this material. This is an electrochemical reaction. And uh, finally, uh, this uh, uh, pro uh, protrusion is formed. This protrusion is formed and switching on occurs. And uh, in our group, uh, the, uh, we showed that if, in this case, we use a tantalum uh, 205 sandwiched by platinum and copper and apply the uh, voltage uh, many times. And after several uh, cycles, beautiful switching hysteresis was observed uh, stably. So uh, uh, NEC Corporation wanted to make a uh, uh, so-called uh, ultra multifunctional FPGA field programmable gate array. Uh, in, in the FPGA, uh, we have relatively large logic cells uh, connected by a uh, sea of switches. Uh, and uh, the user can change the switching circuit. So single uh, chip can be used for many purposes by users. So uh, uh, th this is uh, the uh, very important uh, IC chip. But uh, at present, uh, they are uh, using uh, the transistor switch that is uh, volatile. So in order to uh, make uh, non-volatile, uh, we have to uh, combine SRAM and the past transistor. So this is a single uh, on-off uh, switch, very large. The area is 120F squared. F is a mi minimum uh, fabrication feature. But uh, in the case of uh, atomic switch, that is very small, 4F squared. So uh, uh, at the same time, uh, we can, uh, th this structure is very simple, so easy to make a, a three-dimensional uh, uh, integration. So uh, NEC Corporation have studied uh, uh, to this uh, atomic switch and succeeded to uh, integrate uh, the, uh, this atomic switch into the CMOS uh, chip. And uh, uh, they uh, confirmed very, very good uh, performance. Uh, scalability is down to 50 nanometer and the crossbar switching without transistor. Uh, even if uh, we, can con we can control, even if the uh, transistor is, does not exist. And uh, uh, they studied about uh, the uh, uh, various uh, properties. So uh, they have concluded that retention time is 10 years. And the scalability, uh, th th this, is, uh, this data was obtained from so-called acceleration data. And the scalability is less than uh, 10 nanometer. And the switching time is about uh, a nanosecond. And the heating endurance uh, is 300 degrees centigrade. This is very important. Uh, when we uh, use uh, atomic switches with a CMOS device, so-called uh, uh, annealing, uh, hydrogen annealing is uh, required. Uh, so uh, th this is very important, even at 300 degree 350 degrees centigrade, uh, this uh, atomic switch is very stable. And the cycling endurance is uh, 10 to the fifth. But this number is not so large. But in the case of FPGA, this number is good enough. And uh, they, are, uh, already, uh, they already reached the uh, techno technological level for commercialization of this uh, chip. Uh, but uh, uh, the uh, top managers of NEC Corporation <laughs> uh, has not uh, decided uh, to uh, commercialize this one. Okay, uh, I discuss about uh, the uh, uh, quantized conductance of the uh, gapless 
gap type uh, atomic switch. So uh, what will happen in the case of uh, gap type atomic switch? Even in this case, we can observe the uh, beautiful quantization of uh, conductance. Uh, we apply a, a voltage pulse, uh, the conductance increases one by one, and uh, if we apply a negative uh, voltage pulse, they can uh, change like this. And uh, <coughs> uh, I, uh, th 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 this shows uh, uh, the switch measurement of the switching time of uh, silver sulfide and copper sulfide uh, gap type uh, atomic switch. This is uh, very high. So uh, what will happen in the case of gap type, a uh, gapless type atomic switch? Even in the case uh, we measure the, uh, uh, we observe that the switching time is very uh, short. Uh, switching time is about uh, nanosecond, like this, at uh, 3.5 volt. Okay, next uh, I'd like to talk about synapse-like atomic switch. Uh, this shows the progress in uh, computer electronics. And uh, of course, uh, in the near future, uh, the, uh, we'll have a physical limit of conventional uh, CMOS uh, devices. So we have to study uh, more, uh, more, uh, more than more uh, device, and also beyond the CMOS devices, uh, single electron devices, spin devices, molecular devices, and atomic or atomic and ionic devices. But the more, more important thing is to sh uh, change the algorithm and architecture uh, from uh, von Neumann type and the bo boomerang, uh, bo Boolean uh, logic uh, to uh, beyond the von Neumann type and the non-Boolean uh, logic. And for this purpose, uh, 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 scientists are studying uh, quantum computing a neuromorphic circuit and the photon network. But today, I'd like to discuss about this neuromorphic uh, circuit. Okay, uh, in our brain, the memorization occurs by a sensory memory, a short-term memory, and long-term memory. And uh, uh, <coughs> it, when we have uh, uh, running events, if the, uh, the frequency of the running events is not so high, like uh, b blue lines, the running and unrunning, running and running, running and unrunning occurs. So nothing happens forever, basically. But when the, uh, the frequency is high, suddenly this uh, long-term potentiation, uh, long-term memory occurs. This is uh, due to the uh, synapse uh, in our uh, brain. This is closely related to the, the property of the synapse in our brain. <coughs> and <coughs> okay, uh, our atomic switch is very similar to uh, synapse in character. For example, if we apply a, a, a voltage pulse at the low frequency, 20 seconds, uh, this increase of, con and we measure the conductance between these two electrodes, and the conductance increases, but the decreases, increases, decreases, decreases, increases, decreases. So uh, basically nothing happened forever. But uh, uh, if the frequency is high, the interval is two uh, seconds, suddenly uh, this uh, long-term potentiation occurs. And uh, interestingly, this value is 77.5 microgemens, that is 2e squared over h. So this is a single quantized uh, conductance. So if when the, 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 this protrusion touches to the counter electrode by a single atom, uh, that uh, becomes uh, quite stable. So in order to uh, show the uh, synapse-like characteristics of atomic switch, we did uh, this experiment. We prepared the seven by seven uh, array of uh, atomic uh, switches and apply uh, this uh, pattern signal, one and two, at the uh, high frequency and the low frequency. So uh, I'll show you uh, uh, here. The finally, uh, this uh, pattern is remembered but this pattern is forgotten. Okay, this is an input signal uh, too, and uh, at the, uh, the beginning, a sensory memory occurs, but uh, uh, next, on the next stage, 
the uh, short-term memory occurs. But uh, anyway, learning and unlearning, learning and uh, unlearning, learning and unlearning. So, but uh, if we apply this pattern at high frequency, uh, this uh, uh, pattern uh, one is uh, remem remembered forever. Okay, uh, this uh, synapse-like characteristic was first observed in the gap type atomic switch. <laughs> but uh, even in the case of uh, gapless type atomic switch, using uh, this tantalum 205 uh, uh, ion transport layer, uh, we can observe the uh, synapse like uh, uh, properties. When the applied voltage frequency is low, nothing happens forever. But uh, if the frequency is high, suddenly this long term potentiation occurs. Okay, so uh, recently uh, we are studying what will happen if we make uh, uh, the network of a huge number of uh, atomic switches, uh, one billion uh, atomic switches. So uh, uh, we try to make uh, this kind of uh, uh, network, <coughs> atomic switch network, and uh, uh, me measured the uh, uh, properties of this uh, network. And of course, uh, the, uh, uh, at the beginning, uh, the by applying a voltage, the, uh, by applying a voltage, uh, the conductance increases. But uh, uh, I expected that uh, the conductance, a bit, uh, if we measure the conductance, uh, uh, okay. okay, no, no. If we measure the conductance uh, between uh, two electrodes of the uh, network, the uh, conductivity will increase monotonically, will increase uh, with time. But actually, the uh, conductance increases, decreases, increases, decreases, the fluctuates at all time scale, 100 second, 1 second, and 10 millisecond. So this means that in the uh, network, uh, some uh, the current uh, current uh, flows, and uh, uh, this system is uh, like a living uh, system. So uh, uh, we don't know the mechanism of this uh, uh, behavior. So uh, we are now uh, we hi hired a theoretician uh, scientist, and uh, we are uh, discussing about the origin of this. Uh, Phenomena. Okay, so in this way, even if uh, the atomic switch it has a wide variety of structures, gap type and the gap gapless type, and uh, in the case of uh, gapless type, solid electrolyte type, metal oxide, and the polymer. I didn't talk about this one, but uh, uh, we can make a polymer uh, atomic switch, and. Uh, 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 we can make a non-volatile and volatile switch and the intermediate synapse-like uh, atomic switch. And uh, uh, I didn't talk about uh, this one, but uh, uh, not only two terminal switch, but also uh, three terminal uh, switch. We call this is atomic uh, transistor. So uh, atomic switch has uh, various uh, 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 functionality and we can uh, uh, develop various uh, new devices. Okay, uh, I'd like to move on to the next uh, uh, subject, a novel method to control materials properties locally can be developed. Okay, uh, modulation of electrical, electric carrier concentration in solid materials is uh, very important in both basic and application applied researches of materials. Usually, uh, chemical doping, chemical modulation is made, doping of uh, foreign elements in order to uh, induce uh, that uh, uh, free carriers. But uh, this is uh, uh, static, and uh, this uh, uh, causes uh, uh, lattice imperfection. But we can make uh, uh, physical modulation, physical doping of uh, uh, carrier, application of electric field. In this case, uh, we can 
make a, a dynamic uh, uh, modulation of uh, a, a child carrier, and no lattice imperfections are, are introduced. So uh, we are mainly uh, studying about uh, this. Okay, so far, uh, uh, for uh, insulator, semiconductor, or metal, various materials, uh, we applied a uh, 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 field by using uh, pyroelectric uh, materials. If we put the pyroelectric material, and if we change the uh, temperature of this material, uh, 10 degree or 20 degree, the, the, this uh, uh, charge, uh, by strong field, this charge uh, is in, in induced. But uh, this, uh, the, structure, the fabrication of this structure is a little bit uh, difficult. So uh, we uh, changed, we used uh, direct materials. This is uh, usual direct materials. This is okay, but uh, the applied field is not so strong. So uh, recently, uh, we are studying solid electrolyte. So, uh, so we can make a uh, double layer uh, by applying voltage. And uh, uh, recently, about uh, one or two years ago, uh, Professor Kawasaki's group in the Tokyo University tried to make uh, 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 use uh, liquid electrolyte, ionic liquid, to make uh, uh, this uh, uh, strontium titanate as a, a superconductor. So uh, we also uh, tried uh, this one, but uh, mainly uh, we are studying about this one. But uh, uh, before that, uh, I'd like to show you one uh, recent result about uh, this one. So uh, we intended to make a diamond as a superconductor. So uh, we placed a diamond. Uh, the, the sample preparation is a little bit complicated, but it's a diamond crystal. And uh, on the top, the uh, epitaxially grown uh, diamond crystal was formed. And we used uh, the liquid electrolyte and apply uh, uh, the uh, voltage. And uh, uh, this show in, in the uh, this shows uh, uh, this gate voltage, zero volt, uh, 0.32 volt, and mi minus 0.8 volt, minus 1.56 volt. And as you can see, uh, the diamond becomes metallic uh, by doping uh, this uh, charge. And uh, uh, in our group, uh, we, are, we are already studied uh, insulator to superconductor uh, transition of diamond by boron doping. By increasing the uh, doping rate of boron, uh, the, uh, the diamond becomes metallic. And finally, uh, at a very low temperature, uh, the superconductivity was observed. But unfortunately, in this case, we didn't find uh, any superconductivity. Uh, maybe, uh, so uh, the, the I'd like to increase the uh, uh, concentration of uh, uh, induced uh, charges, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll try to find uh, the uh, diamond superconductivity. Because as you know, the diamond has a very high uh, 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 the, uh, very uh, hard material. So uh, if we in induce the uh, holes and the, uh, uh, electrons, uh, the, that will become uh, the superconductor at room temperature, uh, I expect. <laughs> so uh, we are doing this research. But uh, at present, <laughs> even at very low temperature, uh, no uh, superconductivity was observed. But anyway, uh, we are uh, doing this kind of uh, research for various materials. Okay, uh, I'd like to talk about this solid electrolyte type, uh, solid electrolyte FET type uh, study. Uh, this was published by uh, uh, Tsuchiya and Terabe. Uh, and uh, the first uh, trial was made uh, by using uh, gadolinium doped uh, ceria, and the uh, sample was uh, strontium titanate. This is gate, gate uh, electrode is platinum, and the uh, source and drain are uh, also platinum. And uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, a cross-sectional uh, image of TM. Of th th this part is uh, strontium titanate, and uh, this part is uh, gadolinium doped cerium ceria. 
and uh, uh, this uh, uh, was epitaxially grown, and that is uh, well oriented. And uh, uh, by applying a uh, 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 positive uh, voltage uh, to this uh, electrode, uh, we can induce uh, uh, charge in strontium titanate. Okay, uh, we uh, measured the uh, current between source and drain, source and drain current, uh, as a function of uh, 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 gate voltage applied to this scale. And uh, with increasing uh, the gate voltage, uh, suddenly, uh, this, uh, uh, gradually, uh, this uh, increase of conductivity occurs. And, uh, this is because uh, the, this, these uh, charges are introduced. And uh, even if we decrease the uh, voltage, still uh, increase. This is because the, uh, the movement, the diffusion of uh, uh, this, these uh, ions are slow. Uh, so, uh, in this uh, region, increases, still increase. But uh, uh, by increasing, this decreasing the voltage more, of course, uh, the original uh, uh, zero uh, conductivity is obtained. And uh, uh, by changing the, uh, uh, at, the, uh, the gate at the given gate voltage, by changing the source and drain voltage, uh, of course, uh, this kind of increase is observed. And uh, uh, we observed the uh, uh, temperature dependence of the, uh, uh, this uh, phenomena. At a given uh, voltage, in uh, gate voltage of 3 volt and uh, a source drain voltage of 0.5 volt, we changed the uh, temperature uh, from 400 Kelvin to 500 Kelvin and uh, measured the uh, uh, conductivity between this uh, source and drain as a function of time. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, uh, the, in the time of the in rapid increase of the conductivity uh, changes uh, uh, with uh, temperature and exponentially. So th th this shows the, uh, this uh, um, movement, uh, the conductivity is due to uh, movement of uh, these ions. And uh, we measured the uh, uh, interface uh, capacitance by using uh, AC uh, in in impedance uh, spectroscopy uh, for uh, not only platinum gadolinium doped uh, ceria and strontium titanate, but also uh, symmetric case, platinum gadolinium doped ceria and platinum. And uh, if we look at uh, this uh, case, uh, uh, that is uh, the 14 microfarad per square centimeter. The carrier density is 10 to the 14th uh, per square centimeter at the uh, three board, very high. So uh, this is uh, uh, similar to uh, the ionic liquid uh, 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 case. So uh, even in the case of uh, uh, solid uh, electrolyte, uh, we can apply a, a very large uh, field uh, to uh, in induce uh, the uh, charges. So, uh, uh, summary and remarks of uh, uh, gathering adopt uh, seria case. Uh, all solid state electric double layer transistor EDLT was uh, developed successfully by using uh, gathering adopt seria and strontium titanate. Uh, this uh, ELDT, yeah, EDLT is slow so that it can't compete with a conventional uh, CMOS transistor in switching time. But uh, uh, this uh, EDLT can be used for other interesting properties. For example, even if applied voltage is cut, uh, memory is kept non-volatile. But the uh, memory decays slowly like a volatile. So intermediate uh, between non-volatile and volatile, like a uh, residual image everything exhibiting an uh, intermediate character. But uh, our main purpose of the development of the uh, ELDT is to use it for uh, exploring novel properties of materials. Okay, next I'd like to talk about uh, platinum uh, it yttrium stabilized uh, uh, seria uh, 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 
and the, uh, uh, graphene oxide. As you know, graphene is uh, the, uh, formed by the network of uh, sp2 uh, bonding. But uh, if the oxygen or uh, OH uh, group is absorbed, the, we, the sp3 uh, bonding is formed. So the, by, by the absorption of this uh, O and OH, uh, the uh, gap, uh, band gap opens. And uh, the band gap can be controlled by the concentration of O or, or OH. And if we use uh, this uh, material uh, uh, in this uh, FT structure, uh, not only uh, the, uh, the induction of uh, charge carriers, but also uh, we can make exchange of ions. Oh, okay, uh, this is a uh, 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 ytterium stabilized zirconium. Uh, okay, and uh, this is an experimental result. Uh, we change the, the gate voltage, and uh, if we increase the gate voltage, suddenly this uh, increase of conductivity occurs. This is due to the, uh, the uh, uh, by uh, the reduction, ex exchange of uh, ions between this uh, gadolinium uh, oxide and this uh, uh, solid electrolyte. The reduction of uh, uh, band gap occurs. So rapidly increases uh, the conductivity. And if we decrease the, uh, the voltage, uh, the, uh, nothing happened in this area, but uh, in this area, oxidation occurs again, so uh, uh, this decrease is observed. And uh, at the same time, okay, how many minutes? <coughs> Two minutes, okay. Uh, the, okay, I'd like to say, that uh, uh, in the low voltage region, electrostatic carrier doping occurs, but in the uh, large uh, voltage region, band gap tuning, band gap uh, uh, tuning uh, can be done. Okay, this is a switching, but uh, I, I talk. And uh, uh, even in this case, uh, uh, we are, uh, our main purpose of the development of LD ELDT is to use it for exploring novel properties of materials. Okay, uh, today I talked about uh, these uh, two uh, subjects and uh, uh, th this shows uh, our nice uh, collaborators. Uh, many of them are from our, our MANA Center, uh, but uh, these four scientists are from uh, UCLA. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, Jim Jimicheski's uh, group. Okay, thank you very much for your kind of attention. We have time for two questions. You mentioned the speed problem with ion motion and the FETs. Surely, have you figured out the upper limit on that? How, how fast is possible when you have to have ions moving? So uh, the basically, <laughs> it is uh, impossible to have a, a high switching speed like uh, uh, electron movement. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm not interested in uh, uh, using uh, our uh, device for uh, electronic uh, <coughs> devices. I'm not interested in that. So, so you mentioned a limitation in the cyclability at the 10 to 5. What is the degradation mechanism behind this? What, 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 what is the degradation mechanisms that what? limit the cyclability of your memory? Ah, or okay. Basically, atomic switch is <laughs> very stable, and uh, so. Uh, uh, NEC Corporation, a scientist in the NEC Corporation studied about that very much. So they decided, okay, this device is very stable. 
So, uh, uh, declaration, uh, uh, okay. in the case of uh, synapse-like uh, switch, the after switching on, uh, the switching off occurs gradually. That is due to uh, diffusion of atoms. Frankly speaking, I'm not interested in memories okay. uh, because uh, we we have so many nice memories, other memories. So uh, I'm interested in the, the the very compact switches, on of switching switches. So uh, I and uh, our group and the NEC Corporation group are interested in using atomic switches for FPGA. Thank you again, Professor Arnold. And uh, so we're going to stay on the same subject.